Bloop bloop everyone, welcome back to Victoria 3. We're still playing Great Ching and I should do this. Oh, this is so, this is a cool feature, I think. Um, yeah, the state of the world is like that. I have no idea why Prussia isn't getting their, their thing. They sh oh, they hate me. Well, these guys are quite okay with me at the moment. Oh, you, you all... <laughs> Ferdinand is still alive, the bastard. Hate him. Uh, don't know why that happened there, but okay, cool. This guy's getting old as well. Yeah, we we just looked at our leader, uh, uh, heir, and he's the worst. He is going to ruin the country. So I hope he still takes a while until he comes up. We have a Manchurian Kaiser, really. Oh, I could make him into a commander. Yes, I forgot about that. Yeah, and we are loved, which is actually good. Uh, can you tell me something about popularity? Yeah, on the roll, but the problem is it doesn't tell me what what it does. I like nested tooltips, by the way. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Who serves as the head of state and when they are replaced? Yeah, it's the emperor. I know. I'm back at him now, but it doesn't tell me what what the popularity does. Oh yes, it depends on the role, but we don't tell you what it really does because that would be too easy, wouldn't it? With his constituents. So it is with these guys, I would guess, somehow. Although it doesn't say This happiness is not coming from my ruler. They just like active laws. And that doesn't change with the ruler. That's why I want to change from the monarchy, because I don't give a shit about my ruler. Usually. Rivalry was broken. Okay. What are you doing here, France? They're trying to colonize and they antagonize these guys and now take, taking them just like that. I'm not a colonizer in this game. I just can't do anything here, sadly. Oh, well, that's okay. Oh, City of Plenty. Good. Give me... Yes, give me more loyalists, please. I need more. It's very nice. Uh, you know what, France? I declare neutrality. I don't care about your shit. We need trench warfare soon. Oh, I can have more declared interest, you say. Yay. Yeah, I have this because of Spain, I think. It's the only thing that makes sense because I have no territory here. And also in Cuba. Yeah, this is also because of Spain. Because Cuba is part of Spain. You know what? I could kick Spain's arse here and take over Cuba, maybe. That would be interesting. My interest lies in New England. There you go. Don't know why it does, but it does. Uh, we still have an interest down here? Yes. Could we take over someone here? You are not with Britain. You are nothing. What could I take? Take you with... Uh, 3.4, that's nothing. Oh yes, we have the Japanese with us now. That's neat. Interesting. That's nothing. Do I want them as a puppet though? So puppet is better than dominion. There are vassals in here as well. I just don't have any idea what the difference is. And when I can do what. Because I can't vassalize them. Can I do something in the wiki here? Unrecognized powers. Oh, unrecognized. May turn weaker countries into their vassal. A vassal is a subject type that cannot start their own diplomatic stuff. Okay, so it's worse than a puppet. 
puppet is for the for the big boys. Yeah, because I get 20% of the treasury. And we can take over puppets with the annexation diplomatic play. So making them puppet would be good. And since you're still in the war with the revolutionary South Australia. Sure. France has something here. That's not neat. They colonized this. <clears throat> I'm sorry. More input goods. Mutual funds. Oh, that's pretty good. Thank you, because I don't know why I would public publicly trade, but I do know why I want the minting and the loan interest. Yeah, we're making good money on minting. My, my God, we're we're really not good at. Actually, why is that red? Because if I say pause, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, it does, because of the investment pool. Oh my god, my investment pool pays for all of my expenses in construction. That is so amazing. That that does mean we have a lot of capitalists, I guess. Because 25% of my investment pool comes from capitalists now. And they love me. Uh, how many people in my population are capitalists? Academics. Yeah, we need more academics for sure. Oh yeah, we have 19 million capitalists. Cool. And they pay so much in my into my investment pool that I pay most of my construction out of that. Look at that. If you have productive stuff and get the right economy, they actually help you. That is amazing, but we need more money. And I'm again not sure why my income tax just went away. Because we still have land-based taxation with 7% income tax. Why is that gone? I don't understand it. Does anyone know? What what happened? I have 7% 7, 7 income tax. Does anyone... Does never, no one get paid anymore? It's a freaking income tax. They should always pay this. I could make my armed forces happy when I pay this. It wouldn't make you unhappy if I don't. And that would actually give me more money. Sadly, I can't go back down here, which I would like to, to give my populace more money in their hands. Murica be looking kind of sus? Yeah, very. Very much so. We have an interest in Mexico, though, and in this part of the land, so we will, we will know when they do something. Uh, is there anything? No one cares about you, buddy. Sorry to hear that, uh, uh, Southern Australia, but no one likes you. The Netherlands are fighting the Netherlands. Cool. That's how it works. So we will have a new puppet soon, and that means we should we should inherit this war. I hope, or this war will just end inconclusively because they don't. Well, they do in exist then, so we will inherit this war. I hope. I do hope. So we can beat them down, the revolutionaries? I don't even know what they want. Can we see that somehow? What do they want? Yes, they want to annex each other, but what does that do? They're literally the same.
They're absolutely 100% the same. They're both the same government. They're the same cultures. They're the same religion. They're almost called the same. No idea what that does. And what that would change. Probably some laws, but... You know, I would like to know which laws it would change. Oh, they just gave up. Sure. Does that mean I can help you now? I can take on your debt? It's not much. I mean, I have more in my bank than that, so... I could just pay for this. Can I take you on as well? That would just create two puppets. I want you to win. Uh, you're loyal, that's cool. I want to help you guys. I mean, they're the only ones with troops. I don't know why they're not winning. They're literally... What? The others have no troops. How are you not winning? Your government is completely armed forces. Okay, cool. You have education health system. Oh, how glorious that would be. Glorious China doesn't have that. I have no idea how I could help you. You probably can't call me in. I'm still building railroads, by the way. But you're the only one who has... I don't understand this game. Cross-border investments. I don't want to peeve you guys, so yeah, sure, do what you want. So we got Southern Australia. This would be a little bit harder to do because we would have, have uh, we would have to fight Great Britain to get New South Wales as well. I would like to get them, transfer them. We'll have a lot of allies. It would just depend if someone wants to wants to come and get us. It would give us 24 bad boy, but I don't care. Oh wow, we still have 84. Oh god, okay, maybe I do care. Oops. That's why these are so pissed. Oh, this has gone away, so now finally we have taxes. Oh, the 20% here just annulled all my taxes. How is that possible? That's very strange. No, we still don't have any income tax anymore. Yeah, apparently income tax is just gone forever, guys. It's just it's just not a thing anymore. It's fine. Um, where could I do this? Here, modifiers. I have an income tax modifier somewhere. There's a land tax. Oh. And that's from the peasants. Well, that's really bad. So that's why the why the the landowners want that. That's not cool. Income tax rate seven percent. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do something here. I'm going to reload the game so it. Uh, well, maybe maybe only only reload the save so it uh, tries to recalculate. Maybe I don't have to reload the whole game. But I think that is a bug. And that happened when we got the minus 10%. Because we went into negatives with that. If you only have 7 and it's additive. Nope. Still doesn't give me the tax I need. Cool. Yeah, I think, I think the thing is that we are negative now in taxes. And until that modifier goes away, and I don't even know if it does. Well, it should be. So we have the 7% here. And we should have some negative income tax as well. And I think they're additive, not... Uh, not multiplicative. I don't see it though.
Why don't I see this, guys? There it is. So 21 months, and I think this is for some reason an additive thing. So we actually have minus 3% tax. We should actually pay them tax. Income tax. Yeah, and I... Th ah, that's what I wanted to do. The stupid opium ban. Oh, okay. Since we just saved, remove the ban. I don't need this anymore. And that means we also have more authority, which is nice. Because that could give us some taxes back. And I want to tax luxury clothes. There you are. And that gives us even more money. Yes, more money. I could give that money back right now. And that would help my populace by a margin, by a qu quite a big margin, I think. It's cause you're blind, Gary? No, it wasn't on the top for some reason. Probably because it was temporary. Admiral died. Whatever. Import route for engines. You know what? Can I put a tariff on this? Yeah, tariff on exports. Actually, a tariff on imports is stupid. I don't want them to be more uh, exported for uh, more likely. I want to have them imported more likely. Because we need them. Or, well, not exported. That's why I want a tariff. I want to stop them from exporting and want to s want them to sell internally. Yeah, but they would lose a lot of money there. Actually, very little from, from alcohol. We're just not producing enough, I guess. Although this is not my production, which sucks. This is amazing though. Wow, we're making so much grain in this market. I enjoy that a lot. Okay, though, just produce more. Produce, 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 produce. We still have a lot of railways to do before we can produce anything else. Uh, are we working on the thing? Electric telegraph. It's hmm. not what I would want to work on. But I wanted that for trench warfare, so I have the option. And if you can get trench warfare and gas, a chemical warfare without anyone having that, we can just murderize everyone we want. There's no one who can do anything against us. Because we do plus 50 freaking percent casualties. It was so strong in Wiki 2 that literally no one could oppose us if they don't have gas masks unlocked. And I don't even know if they can have gas, ma gas masks unlocked. I, I think they just need to have the warfare here. Um, yeah, I think this is, this is unnecessary. I think we should just do this here. Uh, to help the Japanese see the light. The light that is our benevolent perfect rule of perfectionism, uh, especially when we get finally get rid of the stupid monarchy. I'm still not sure when the Boxer Rebellion appears. And when we get when we get the stamp out monarchism thing. We could do another Western Frontier thing. And that was fun. Public trading. So, oh, a lot of a lot of buildings need to be public, publicly traded. And then I'm getting something. I don't know why I would want that, but more capitalists means more investment pool means more building. So, sure, let's increase our... I'm not sure if I want that, really. Why can't I not do this? Oh, we need to have sweeteners and stuff active. I mean, sure, get sweeteners now. 
It's not that bad. Nope, that is really, really bad. Really, really bad. Really, really bad. But you know, we have to have it for a big number of buildings, is the problem. That is what it says. Yet, yeah, currently 1.2%, so I literally have to do it with every building. Electrical engines or diesel engines? Yeah, that's gonna take a while. And if it's not profitable, why would I do this? Oh god, arms industries publicly traded. Government run would be nice. But I need a command economy. Severe immigration, who cares? The explosive shells. I'm not sure why I would want that, but sure. And again, we need to get more government administration because our, our tax efficiency is crap. Literal crap. Oh my god, you need even more infrastructure in Shanxi. Sure, guys. Get another railway going. I mean, it's not like we're building no railways and stuff. But you need another, apparently. Now we have a railroad going through every bit of China now. Just some railroad. Me, 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 me. Wow. Perfect rule of perfectionism. What are you, five? Yes. So? I'm five for a long time. What, what are you asking? Less war exhaustion from casualties can only be helpful. Now, what should we do here? This is actually quite quick. Oh, good, actually. Oh, that helps against population working there. Yeah, that's not fun. Open hearth process for steel mills. More steel. Hmm. You will need pump checks. This gives automatic irrigation. Oh yes, we need that. That will make everything so lucrative, it's ridiculous. What are you doing, guys? Bengala? Decentralized power, yeah, sure. Whatever, I don't care. I don't care, French. Come on, come on, gimme, 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 gimme. This is on for too long. Oh, if it stalls, I'm gonna cry. The chance is way better to just to stall. I don't want to debate. They're opposing. Another two years without income tax. Yay! God damn it. This needs one and a half years to get a chance to, to flip. Because my legitimacy is so crappy, but we need to punch punch some of these things through. Yeah, I hope that's gonna be better. Otherwise, what other laws could we do? Nothing. Well, probably because this is going, but we have a good chance now. Okay, these are losing power. Losing clout. But we cannot push the others up. Is the problem. I still try to bolster them with all my power. And we get 40% extra power from that. From urbanization concerns ignored. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even expert political operator. It does nothing. You know what we should do? I think build more universities would help. Cause 10 is bigger. 10 is better cause 10 is bigger. Wow. Wow, Bernie. Uh, so yeah, this doesn't do anything anymore. The, the ban, the opium thing. Good. I could have done this for years and I just didn't know. Good to know. 
Get more opium. Game? Game is dying. Nope, game, game is living. Uh, yes, four more opium. More opium. More opium. Get all the opium. We need it for the army, for some reason. Makes sense, right? Makes sense. All the railways done first. And then we can re-evaluate. Re At least there is a railway everywhere in the freaking country. That means that we can probably profit with, with profit enable that for some of these things here. Yeah, for, for example, that. Yes, profitable. Not quite. Very profitable. That's gonna help. Brave engineer, railroad accident. Quick thinking engineers, or we help the trade unions. Sure. Let's bolster them a bit more. I'd rather help the literati, you know, but apparently... Hey, Power Core, how are you doing? Apparently that is not possible. Still building arms industries, wow. Well. Yes, I think so. I think we're going to go for repeating rifles. Even though that costs a lot, we will do this. Damn, that would really be good. Publicly trading them. Yeah, this is still not good. Still not close enough. Subsidize them. Until this is better. And that's probably because we run into a short... Oh, we have a tea shortage. Oh, well, that's not good. We run into a shortage for something. We have enough iron. Probably not steel and tools. Tools are still a problem. Yes, steel is a problem as well. But we have steel on the horizon. We are already trying to build this. Somewhere. There it is. And also tools workshops, we need them. Sure, get a sulfur mine in there as well. More opium! Opium for the masses. Hopefully they don't get the, the bullshit modifier again, because then I'm gonna cry. We're just using moderation, guys. It's fine. It is possible. Trust me. I mean, I never use that crap, but still. Just trust me, because I'm the emperor, and I say what goes. Uh, this is... Oh, we had 50% more uh, urbanization. That's pretty nice. We never did this before. Interesting. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe you should let that catch up once in a while. What do you mean exactly should I uh, let catch up? The build queue, yeah, I should, but uh, it's actually catching up. And the problem is I still need to, you know, react to the stuff. Uh, otherwise, my, my people will die. Sadly, they're multiplying, which I... Oh, God, and it's getting bigger. That's what she said. Um, yeah, we're getting 2 million per year now. Oh, damn. Still, that's not that much. 1883 at the moment. Still a bit of time until we have to deal with um, the First World War. I would like to get New South Wales. 
Problem is, can we get into into Great Britain again? I'd like to have that they're under us as a great power. I'd like to have France or someone as a friend in here. They're very infamous as well. You know what? Screw the US. Unless you want to be my friend. Although even if, I don't really care, I think. Russia is doing things. No, I don't I don't think I care about the US anymore. France? You could be good against England because you have ships. And you could, you know, busy their navy. Keep it busy, keep it going. I think we declare rivalry against Great Britain now. Giving us more influence, sure. And that means maybe I can get some other people on my side as well. Austria, Prussia I can't, oh my god. It's so much stuff. They're cold, but they want to be friends. <laughs> Russia antagonistic again. Are we still in alliance? Yes, we still have an obligation here. I can... I don't even need the obligation to pull you in. And you're friendly and cooperative. Because we have that stuff. This will expire at some point. Could easily bankroll you. Which would give me another obligation. Not that I need it. Okay. Oh, wait. Can I use that to make you a protectorate? Not quite. An heir was born. Interesting. Please tell me you're the best guy that ever lived. I hate that you're of the... Oh, but that makes sense. Jingoist. Man, you're an ugly child, but okay. You're a Jingoist. That's okay, I guess. I would like a professional army. Interesting. Uh, but you're, you're my heir now. Oh, because my guy died. Yeah, the Emperor died. Okay. Well, let's see how that goes and how my people will like me here. I'd like to make you my protectorate, guys. Oh, that would be so good, having Spain. Or the protectorate, I'd rather have you as a puppet, but sure. Having Spain as my protectorate? Maybe I could get another lion somewhere then? Fight Great Britain? For Australia? I really would like to help you guys. But fighting these is not the way, because then I would have two puppets instead of one. And I want one. But you're still at war and you... I don't understand. They have troops. Look at that. They have the only troop. Do I need to take on your debt? Sure, I'm gonna start bankrolling you. Field that troop and murder these people. Come on. I'm gonna take your debt. It's perfect. Just kill these people. Raising concerns of the literati. Yeah, I actually don't want to make you worse again. And I like when you like me. And these guys do like me anyway, so that's fine. Literati Ho. Finally we get some some soci society technology cost down. It's not that important right now. I don't even think we're doing that. No, we're doing dynamite. See, build queue is catching up. Only 300 in the queue. Oh, God. Yeah, I want to go through the motor industries as well. Well, the Emperor is dead with 100 years old. He finally bit the bucket. I hope you won't live that long because you suck. I'd like your air. Our literacy is going up. We have 3,000 battalions 
in in uh, in range if you've won. Empire Reform Association have been particularly effective. Wait, 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 that's Literati. <gasps> more momentum? Even more paper bills? No. Status to promote the truth. Yes, it is. Because censorship. Empire Reform Association. Please tell me that's the party I want. Oh my god, it is. 20% momentum, 10% momentum to them. I want the 20% because of censorship. Good. Yeah, paper mills is great, but no. Here, momentum. Finally, I, I will get them into... Oh, God. Can I murder this F-tard? He gets even more and more hated every time. Oh, God. <laughs> it's just... Death in Texas. Has suddenly died while drafting legislation. More on the loss. Oh, that's my... Uh, no, it's not my leader. More the loss of a great leader. Better chance, but less time. And he dies. Or better time and less chance. Well, time it is then. Even longer now. We need to get that tax. It's so stupid that it takes so long. It's really stupid, guys. Uh, this is not cool. Why is that the case? Oh, wow, they have gained a lot. These guys gained nothing. And it's just only because of this bullshit leader that is hated like crazy. Can I please get my assassins on them and murder him? Please. Oh, it's so bad. It's ridiculously bad. What does that do? Approval goes down. Hmm. Fireworks accident. Yeah, that's okay. Trade unions get a little bit more momentum, so they will not be marginalized anymore. Trade unions will do what I want. Or I want what they want as well. They made a pun? Yeah, I know. I know I ignored it. <laughs> you have to look for out for puns, not me. Come on. Infrastructure. Just getting them a little bit happier would help. With some of the infrastructure problems that we have. We still have this problem. Why? I think they don't get... The cash reserves go down for some reason, even though they are absolutely mega profitable. I mean, they're government run, that can only be perfect. Of course. <laughs> because we're a perfect government. 10 out of 5. Interesting. Uh, yeah, of course. I hate that that happens. I hate it so much. And it's literally only because this guy is a dumbass and everyone hates him. That's the only reason that these guys get 100% of the votes and now they are all banding together. Oh god, they're the biggest opposition you could think of. You know what? Trade unions, yes. Oh god, that will be so horrible. No, can't. I need to get the industrials out of here. Industrialists and get the trade unionists in. This would give me so much more. I don't want to have them in government though, because then they gain power. And the plan is still to get rid of their power base. We are getting there. They lost over 20% of their power already. Just takes time, unfortunately. So we're building more tools, we're building more engines. We have coal problems again. Awesome. My most beloved kind of problems. I'm not sure if we even have. Yeah, okay, let's let's just let's just let it run for a bit. Coal problems will be worse, but that's fine. Do we do anything with our trade? We have some inactive trade routes. Sure. Unprofitable ones. Yeah, I don't want the Great Britain nonsense anymore. They're my rival. France, sure. Austria, sure. 
I don't really care about Egypt. Okay. Dynamite. Better re resource discovery chance. If we had a few resources, that could be discovered somewhere. Apparently, we have all of this. Uh, we have a Gobi Desert. Ooh. Very bad. Good. Apparently, all resources were, have, have been discovered. Everywhere. Is that the case here? Interesting. We have emergency relief. Uh, what do we want, though? Threshing is nice. We want pump jacks. Yeah, we have a lot of plantations. We really want this. This could be huge. The threshing machines, sure, but we don't. We have population. That's not a problem. Inefficient agriculture again. Why not? Just make everyone more radical. It's perfect. Just what several we want. We want to be assassinated. I can't assassinate the stupid BS leader of the literati to get a better one, you know? But they can definitely kill me. So dumb. I need internal affairs, I think, for... No, well, not really assassinations, unfortunately. But... Um, if you get home affairs and get, you know, secret police that would help with the uh, suppression impact. Which would be nice. Also, revolution C session speed would go to 0%. Political movement, radicalism would also be neat. Guaranteed liberties. Is also pretty good. More loyalties. But suppression is not as effective. And we could push that through. We actually could. With a very good chance. That's probably the next thing we'll do. I want to see what Home Affairs really does. Although, mm, I don't have enough bureaucracy for multiple things. And we need other things. It's still, everything is still going so slow. Because we can't get rid of these stupid, stupid, stupid aristocrats. It's like in Austria. It's the same thing again. Power Thresher is completely useless to me. Because I don't care about population. I really don't. We have population. It would make it more lucrative, though, apparently, but it would need more coal. Yeah, it would need more coal and... No, the same tools, but more coal, and we already have coal problems. It would still make you more lucrative, because you don't have to pay wages. But, quite frankly, I don't give a flying fox, I think. We have dynamite now. Could that be good for something here, for example? Oh, and wait, is that is that true what I've seen there? That gets rid of the, the mortalities. Ooh. And you know what? I don't care. I'm going to make more explosives for you. But I want I want the extra coal. We have coal problems. That, is, that would be great. I'm just going to make more explosives and you'll all be happy. But mortality is going down like crazy sauce. Oh, this is good. Yeah, it's pure gold mines. I mean, of course. And we can have more, so make them. Uh, and then we also want more chemical plants to make more explosions. Uh, I mean, explosives. Sulfur. We need way more sulfur for this. Okay, I'm gonna make more. Sure. Get another 20. You know what? Get 25. And what we're gonna do is more sulfur mines as well. Yes and yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you are. And that should work out fine. We are building sulfur mines, so... Hey, Cadmon, Welcome. Very interesting game, indeed. Indeed. I'm enjoying this a lot. Came out on Tuesday, Victoria 3. Oh, yes. The gold mines as well, please. And then we only have to find the sulfur mines in here somewhere. Okay. 
And we're trying to bring Great Qing, uh, which is future China. I don't know why we cannot flip it into that, but apparently we can't. Um, to glory, uh, apparently. We, we won the Opium Wars and we puppeted China so far. And we also puppeted uh, South Australia, because why not? We could. Didn't cost us much. Okay, got the sulfur mines as well. There you go. That should help us tremendously. But sooner or later I always get red numbers in my money balance. Have no idea what I'm doing wrong. Uh, red numbers is not necessarily bad as long as you have some money reserved and then you need to, you know, fix your economy. That causes that. You could also go down or uh, go up on taxes or go down on spending. Um, this spending doesn't do anything but make them but, but pisses, pissing them off here, literati for example, I could go down if I don't want that bonus. And also the armed forces, they would actually be fine if I'm not paying them at all, so now I have more money, it's great. But I do want them to be positive at the very least because um, that gives me more loyalists and I do need more loyalists. So there is a lot of things you could do wrong in quotation marks. You can change your taxation law, like I'm trying to get more taxes, and I'm doing that for other reasons as well. Did I not say puppeted Japan? Juppeted Pepin? What, what did I say? Uh, population can grow indefinitely. Peace treaty. Yoruba states. Oh, that's what you wanted. Oh, America lost! They have to pay war operations against them. Well, that's neat. Oh, I said China. No, we are China. We puppeted Japan, yes. And we took a bite out of them first, so we could puppet them without getting too much bad boy and getting murdered. Infrastructure is a problem here, okay. We also have human rights now. Yay, we can get primary schools. And we're, feminism, that's pretty neat. Oh, I would like that. Um, also, yes, we need more railways here. One or two. I think one. That one railway gives us... Ah, uh, the wooden passenger carrier is 15, so... Not quite, we need two. Again, I want a map mode that shows me infrastructure and taxation capacity. That's the two things I want to see. I know I can see taxation capacity problems here. But I want a map mode for that, that's way, way, way better. Yeah, Zhang C is a problem as well. Uh, we need to build them at some point, but sure. How much of a problem? An extreme problem in terms of taxation. So we're building them all up, but we're not giving them the uh, we're not getting the, the ability there to tax them correctly. So we're losing so much taxes. I bet I would get another half a million if I get all the taxes of my population. Have tried to play Sweden. The first thing I do is to quit my union with Norway. Why? Why would you ever quit the personal union? Rather buddy up with, with Denmark and become Scandinavia. Like that. That is what you want. Because then you are Norway. Look at that. They have everything. They rank L uh, rank L 11. Rank 11 power. That's pretty good. They're pretty strong. Good GDP for their... For their stuff. Yeah, really good GDP with 20 million. Wow, they start with six or, th or something. I think it was six something. I think I will restart my, my personal uh, Sweden play and see if what I learned makes that better. And if I can get Scandinavia really quickly. And they have a cool flag. Yeah, indeed. Really cool flag with all of them. Sweden, Norway, and the Denmark cross, I guess. If they would do that, you know, in 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 for real, that would be impressive and pretty cool. And then of course I need to be absorbed by Europe, which should be one gigantic nation at some point, but it never will be because people are dumbasses. Please do I wanna watch? Bought the game two days ago, okay. I mean, I could do that on stream as well, some, some chill play, uh, uh, Sweden play, 
I mean, why not? But at the moment, we're still playing China. And since it's looking good, I'm gonna play till the end of the game. And see how we stand. Maybe we will be the best great power in the world. We'll see. After winning the Opium Wars, we could go everywhere. I just need to manage them right and correctly to, to do that. And you know what? We don't have enough money to lower taxes, but we do have enough money to increase... Um, well, suddenly we do have enough money to lower taxes. I don't know why. Thank you for the follow, Cadmon. If you have any questions, man, just just ask. Uh, if you if you don't know something and I may know it, then sure. Even if I may not know it, maybe someone in chat does. I don't know. I kind of want the game too, but it's too much info uh, for my little brain. I doubt it, Monaway. I mean, you know, to say to encapsulate what the game actually is, it is ninety percent. Economy building simulation and that just works like I have a deficit somewhere I need some goods and I'm building some factories and that is done and By creating a demand if that good doesn't exist like if when you go into steel for example You will have no demand for steel because no one wants steel Why would they want it? They don't even know why they would want it because there is nothing you could do with steel in the beginning but it costs a lot. It costs tools, which are always expensive. Coal, it costs iron. A lot of iron needs to go into steel. So you have to weather your losses. And I don't know why we ha have losses here. Oh, the, because this is not even working? Uh, but you have to weather your losses here to make sure that steel production happens. Because you will need steel for your army, for, for everything. And... Um, Therefore, you should already go into motor industries, I would say. Even before these are finished, you should you should plan for this. And then when these are finished, directly build these. Because you need to create a demand for them to be profitable. And the world will not have a demand if you're really early with steel. So there is nothing in your market. or even I mean, you may, may not even be in a market that needs steel. Because it's only your own country. So no one will need steel. Because why? And... Then you have to create your demand yourself by just making the thing that needs steel. It could, could also be your military, but it weakens your military if you don't have enough of what they need. Yes! Finally! Look at this gloriousness! Oh my god, we have almost 300,000 income tax. It's ridiculous and I love it. So we have less land tax, but more per capita tax. Okay, that will affect my people a lot. But also it affects who loves me. That's pretty nice. Tax him this disproportionately tax the poor through a combination of income and per capita tax. Yeah. It's not great, but you know it's better than before. And since we have the money, we could go and go for uh Go for the next one. And just lose out a bit. But that's fine. I would like proportional. Could go to property now. Child labor is still a thing, unfortunately. I would I wish it wouldn't. Because we have more more than enough people. We can send our children to school. Uh, our children's our children to school, and it would be great. But for some reason the literati are idiots and are opposing this, and I don't know why. I don't care for multiculturalism right now. I want to get rid of state religion, you know. No one is supporting this, and I don't understand. I really don't understand. Maybe we need other religions, so that changes. If it radicalizes them, they will plan a revolution. So I need to make them happy first. To get to a presidential republic, because I finally want to get rid of this stupid monarchy bullshit. Is there anything else we could do? Health system. I mean, private health insurance, but we, we saw something else that would work, right? I don't want protected speech. Not right now. We saw something that would work. What was that? Schools? Ah, still only religious schools. Why can we not do this? 
and this for that matter, because there is the same support for everyone. Disallowed by com compulsory primary school and children's rights. Ah. No. No, no, no. Disallowed by state religion. Oh, I hate the state religion. I still think getting them down to 5% would help, but I, I can't. People do like you somewhat. This is also bad. We need someone here that sucks. Okay, you do suck uh, compared to the other guy. Uh, and we need someone here that really sucks. And we need someone who's extremely good and not hated. Dumbass. For these guys. I don't know how to do it. I can't assassinate this bastard or the other idiots. Darn it. But we need to. We need to assassinate these fools. Mm, this is going, getting worse. I don't want to get rid of my taxes, though. If I alleviate this tax... Ooh, wow, now this is quite a different impact. But it would help the poor a lot, so I'm gonna do this, because we don't need that much money. We already have... 17 million in gold reserves, and we're getting more money than we're spending with construction right now. That's good. You know what that means? That means we get more construction. This is gonna hurt, but I'm here for it. And we also need to get these two railways done. Okay, not before. Good. More construction effort. Go to state religion and let's look at that. I can't. I can't do anything there. No one no one wants that. No one wants to get rid of this BS. And this gives them the all of their political strength. If you can get, get rid of that, they just die out. No one will care about uh, stupid religion anymore, which is awesome. But there is no one supporting this for some reason, and I don't know why. We need a random event that gives some of our... You know, if, if we could get these guys... This guy, a trait, through a random event that makes him... Gives him an ideology trait uh, that makes him oppose the state religion or something. And, and go for something else. Doesn't matter which. It, everything is better than state religion. Then we would be done. But this way, it's just impossible. And it is a random event that can happen that can do this. Can do this. And could give him the right trade. Could give him a different trade as well. Which is bad. There's just nothing I could do here. It's all random bullshit. Theocracy? Anything along that somewhere you can semi-force? No. Breach loaders, cool. Um, I, I don't want a theocracy. That would be the worst. That would make it even worse. And I can't do any of this because it would radicalize the other idiots. Oh, and now the Confucian scholars as well. Yay. I need one of these. Yeah, I would want that, but I can't get the Parliamentary Republic. Because it's liked by a lot, but it's also opposed by the strongest factions. And I'm trying to get them to die out, but it's not working. Because every time there is a vote, because this idiot is the leader of the opposing party, and has minus 90 popularity, which I can do nothing about, unfortunately. They're losing with 0% of the votes. They are in government. They're the only party in government, but because of this bullshit Luo Shen idiot, they cannot get a single vote, and these guys get 100% of the votes. It's the worst. And I have no idea how I can act on that. How I can change something there. 
because I cannot is the problem. What are you doing? Sure, I don't I don't give a shit. Go away. Congo. Not interested not really interested in that. It's just because of Spain that I'm I have interest there. Spain does something against peasant revolt. You know what, Spain? If you give me something, I'm in. But otherwise, who cares? In some way or another, you radicalize groups. That's not the point. Radi radicalization leads to rebellion. I cannot have a rebellion, otherwise I fracture. I cannot have a civil war, otherwise I will have nothing anymore. My whole country will splinter. So I cannot, I cannot risk that. I need to get these guys to be happier a little bit. Just a little bit more approval. Get them up to two or something and then I could try it. Because then I wouldn't radicalize them. My god, what are you doing, France? Damn, you're annoying. And Spain stopped as well, somehow. We still have problems with, with taxing our people and I can't even work on that because I have to fix other things. First. I definitely need to fix the explosions. Um, explosives, I mean. Not explosion. Oh, everything ex is exploding in my country. Damn. No, I need to fix the explosives because otherwise these guys will not be lucrative anymore and they need to be. Especially you. Okay, I think you cannot hire anymore. Yeah, you, you're burning through your con uh, reserves. Um... Therefore, until we get the explosives, I'm gonna help you. That's fine. We have more gold mines now. They are very lucrative. Public trading, you would give you more money even. That gives me more industrialists and that gives them more power base. I don't want that. Uh, I mean capitalists and therefore more industrialists. And I don't want that. I don't want to boost their power base so much. We will we'll lose the public trading thing, but that's fine. Unless I'm putting everything on public trading, that wouldn't work anyway. This is lucrative. Uh, very lucrative. See, that's why I was um, building transportation everywhere. This could be lucrative at some point. It's fine. General has died. If I'm not hiring generals, by the way, it could... Oh, please. Ah, oh, it's a theocrat. Sure. Your popularity goes down. That may that means that the Confucian school will lose all their people, hopefully. It's good. It's not perfect, though. There could be better stuff. No, I don't. I don't want to make you publicly, tr publicly traded. That's really good. Okay. So most of them are very lucrative now with transportation. That's pretty nice. And we are producing a lot of transportation. And suddenly we're not making any money anymore. Hmm. Can't be because of our construction. But sure, we will we will keep it that way. We have uh 20 million in the bank, that's fine. We can keep that going for a while until something happens. We definitely need more coal, we definitely need more clothes, we need more liquor. But first, we need explosives. By the way, I got 1.5 billion GDP with Qing in start of 1900s. Damn, how? I mean, our domestic product is climbing like crazy sauce, but it's only 15 years. I don't know how that should work. I don't doubt it could, but I don't know how. You need a few laws. Yeah, that is... For more money. Yeah, that makes sense. Pump tracks will be huge, though. Because all of these plantations now will make ridiculous amounts of goods and money. And especially here, that's pretty good. I was looking forward to that a long time. Oh, look at that. The tea plantations are just exploding in money. They're just money piñatas. Actually, it's not good for you. Probably because we don't have enough engines. 
Yeah, I guess it's it's the engine price now that is exploding as well. Which is fine. You will never be lucrative with this, huh? It's very sad. Hmm. We should improve this uh, part of our economy as well, but not now. So we need to make more engines, it's fine. And hello, Healer. Oh, you're a new guy. Sorry, I, I, I thought you were Cadmon. Welcome, Healer. Hope you're doing well. How it? Also get first school and get unis until you hit a cap. Yeah, sure. If that would be so easy. I have so many, thi so many things I have to get. And yes, I have to liter uh, uh, get more literacy, but that will cause other problems. Sure, Rubber Rush. How is Borneo doing? Fine in infrastructure, fine in taxation capacity. So everything's fine. How about in people? You got a lot more population since we last spoke. That's good. Rubber plantations are subsidized, but don't need to be. Good. You're making a lot of money, and I wish I could expand you, but I can't. Uh, sure, get the second one here. Although, no, how many people do you have? Yeah, we need of engines. That's fine. We will get engines there for a second. Uh, in a second. Unemployed, 13k. Okay, we have some people free to do stuff with. The rice farms are the most lucrative. Actually, the coffee plantations. Uh, no, get the coffee plantations. And I think two or three. Yeah, let's get some tobacco and another coffee. That's fine. We just need to get more engines, which is okay. We just we, we need to get th through these uh, chemical plants first to make more explosives, though. Because explosives are good for our, for our mining operations. Don't need the tractors. Still five years here. This is almost done. I don't need synthetics. Electricity? I'm scared, though. I, I think I cannot construct enough, quick enough, to do this. More prestige. Since I don't know what else I should do... Actually, I should do this because I, I'm a little behind in my stuff. No, he should try to get schools with industrialists in government. Well, that's neat. It's not like I'm not trying this for the last, you know, 50 years. Hila. <laughs> of course I should. And did professional army and abolish serfdom to get scholar officials down? Yes, I'm trying. Professional army I didn't do. Because I couldn't. No one wants that. Oh, I did National Militia, because that was the only thing I could I could push through. And yes, I don't want these guys, that's true. Um, schools. No one wants schools. I cannot have religious schools. They suck. And I still have the freaking state religion that I cannot ever get rid of, because people are dumbasses. So I need to get rid of... Can't get census suffrage, unfortunately, because this will radicalize people. Yay. Uh, I need to get rid of the monarchy first. And I can't, because I'm still radicalizing two groups. Both of them need to be a little bit happier than I can do this. And I want it so, for so long. And we had to get rid of the, of the stupid uh, traditionalism. That was important. To be honest, I don't like the current implementation on how to enact laws. Yeah, Fluffy, it is it is not great. And hello, Fluffy, how are you doing? Still have religion too. I don't want this to be a religion. Especially not the radicalization mechanic, yeah. Because you can't do much, you mean? Or what is your what is your particular problem there? At least we got better taxation now, although not better for the poor. 
It's actually worse for the poor. Uh, I don't want free trade. I would like protectionism, but... I'd like a healthcare system, but this is just not good enough. They don't push that enough. And I'd like public healthcare, to be honest. Instead of private. But private would be better than nothing. And we need that to not run into a problem later. Because we could easily slip into a pretty big disaster if we don't have healthcare or welfare. We could try poor laws. That would piss you off a little bit, but do I care? It would, it would need welfare payments. Hmm. But the poor would lose, would lose political strength. Okay, so they couldn't radicalize as as easy, I guess. Migration controls. So, I, I don't care at, at all about migration controls. What I need is, is to weaken the religious group and I need to weaken the mon monarchy group. Both of them need to be under 5% and then I can do everything I ever desired. But I don't think we're getting, we're getting there. That weird name, Ecolaw. Laissez-faire? Laissez-faire is not a weird name, it's French. It means something like no interference. That's that's no interference, but that doesn't matter much to me. I don't want this. Interventionism is fine. Command economy? No, I don't think that that would do much. But economy is fine. The economy law. That is that is what I need. I just got needed to get rid of traditionalism because of taxation capacity. But now we have taxation capacity. Everything's fine. Um, doesn't matter. The really important points are state religion. The freaking monarchy that needs to go. And that's about it. And schools. Those three points are very important to me. And I would do this if I wouldn't radicalize two groups at once. Or even one. Then I would definitely do this. Lucky you I tried to change to colonial resettle resettlement. First a movement against the law change after enacting the law and a, uh, a movement to change it back. Yeah, but you don't have to do them. I just ignore these guys. Or do you mean a radical movement? That's just great, yeah. This is not good. Why are we losing money again? I'm not sure. Working on explosives for mining to decrease the mortality rate. We are getting our standard of living higher and higher. That's pretty good. We started with about 12 and we are back there now after many years of, of hardship. And that's really good. Because capitalists start give you a lot of money, but I, I hate capitalists, so no. My problem is I'm out of iron, maxed out in most states, whereas people can who can work there well that's bad yeah that is a big problem that means you need to get more land with iron i know i can ignore them but they keep radicalizing my population yeah i mean look at that 11 11 million with the amount i was comp uh, contemplating to use rural folk as fuel in my steel mills instead of coal yeah that would work right that would that would just be good i'd do that <laughs> But look at that. My government is completely weak and useless. I just don't want the others in because then I cannot su suppress them anymore. And that also doesn't help with laws. Wait, there was a law that I could do that was pretty easy, they said. Oh, why is that? Um. No. No, I don't want laissez-faire. There was another thing that people wanted. I'd like to have propertied women. To help them out a bit. Poor laws, no. This, private health insurance. Let's see if we get a good event or two because no one is opposing it. Since I can't do anything else, let's just do something. 
11 is nothing, I had 40 to 50 million and they did nothing? I mean, yeah, sure, if you have enough loy uh, royalists, uh, loyalists, not royalists, loyalists. At the moment, they are royalists because, I mean, we are the royalty. But I, you, you still have to have an eye on them. If they go twice over your loyalists, you have really big problems in the country. You have turmoil in every single state, and I know how that feels because I had that multiple times. Not in this run, but... It's definitely not nice. You need to cater to your people here a little bit. Property women, a bit bad wording there. No, that's the official wording that was used at that time, but it just means not that they are property, but that they can have property. At the moment, they have no rights whatsoever. A woman is just, uh, you know, a baby making machine, which is really bad. And we don't need them in the workforce particularly, but we do need them in the workforce so they don't make so many babies. Because the country is growing too fast and I can't, can't you know, get behind that because my construction effort is not reaching that, that far. And we are constructing so many things at once, it's crazy sauce. You know what? I say it now. Yes, this will be the next one. I want steel frame buildings. I think we have the steel capacity to do this. So it doesn't ruin us in cost. Saying that while we already losing money here. Oh god, it will ruin us so hard. But we need it. I, I think we need to do this. Because then we can go through these 300 buildings really quickly. Mid-game, I also went high techs for some time to get more buildings faster. Yeah, sure, but I don't want to ruin my population, so... I'd rather have low techs. I don't I don't need techs to build. As long as I'm about the same in, in income. What I'd rather do is get rid of the literati and, and paying for them. Mm, they're just at 5. How about the armed forces? They're at minus 1. So I can't do that. I, I actually should give them more money. And maybe give them less. It's probably good a good way to boost the literati by just making more universities, right? And we still need to build government administration to get more tax. It's just so bad. We're so bad at taxing people. Um, but, you know, getting five universities or so... Maybe another 20. Uh, that was not what I wanted, but sure. Where's Nanjing? There. Uh, where are the universities here? There. 10 is enough, buddy. And just building these universities real quickly. I think we have enough paper. At least I hope we do. Yeah, get these done too. Real quick. Shouldn't take long. Just a few weeks. Is there any good decrees? I can't do any because I don't have the stuff. Okay. But when this finishes, this technology... Part nationalism, I should have enough to be positive again, at least. Probably don't have to build so many universities. I mean, I know I don't, but I will. I will do that. More academics. It helps. About everything. Can I boost the ones I want? No. So I could boost industrialists, but I don't want to. You know what? Boost trade unions a little bit more. If they become more powerful, that could be good. Because they do what I they do want the same things I want. Graduated taxation. Even though I would lose money, I don't care. Um, compulsory primary school, workers' protections, propertied women, perfect. Populist gives national militia, they have that. Mass conscription is something I would want. Uh, migration controls, eh. Universal suffrage, definitely. 
Anti-slavery. Yeah, they're perfect. I want them. Give me. Just piss off some, some capitalist. Who cares? I mean, we have a lot more than before, but still, I don't care. I don't care about capitalists. Property women doesn't mean they're property, it means they're allowed to, uh, to own property. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Fluffy. But we need the better building. We are so many years behind on that because I didn't think we had enough money. Oh, God. What happened here? It's not the armed forces. They're not pissed. Why do I have so little money right now? Something changed. Why do I have so many subsidies, guys? Arms industries and sulfur mines. Yeah. See, that is something I shouldn't do. You still need them, though. Why do you need them? We should have enough explosives by now. Although, maybe not. How many explosives do we have? I was building explosives like crazy a second ago. One point eight K, yeah, that's not enough. Yes, do this. This looks better. Three point one five, yes, okay. I think now we have enough. Steel is having problems. What else are we subsidizing here? Oh yeah, the arms workshops. And I why are you not making any money? At least they're helping uh, uh, to stay employed right now. I'm helping there. Steel. Right, you need steel. Okay, so steel is a problem. And explosives are still a problem. Why? I don't know why they have still a problem. I actually want more explosives, not less. Lead mines. Go back to nitroglycerin. You do need explosives, though. The question is, why can why does no one buy your sulfur? That's 3.6k sulfur that we do need, ex especially to make explosives. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Come on, it has to work. Do we still not have enough? Market. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Get steel trader out. There must be something that's lucrative. I don't like to the American market, but also the Russians. It's fine. Um... Oh, the radicals. Well, that's not a good trade route. Morocco. Yes, sulfur. Selling sulfur. That could that could help us. Yeah, that's not good trade routes. You know the Austrian market maybe make them like us more. Definitely. More trade, always good. Trade can almost never be bad. Yes, this could give me productivity. Oh yes, Peruvian, sure. Morocco, yes, everyone needs weapons. Sure, get all the weapons in your, in your life. Okay, that could help us make profits again. And stop me from subsidizing the shit out of this industry. Still not enough. Really? This needs even more steel. Yeah, no, not gonna happen. More steel is needed. Let's make more steel. Do we have an iron shortage? No, but a coal shortage.
Yeah, steel mills are profitable. Yes, get more laborers. It's fine. That makes you more profitable. That's cool. Um, oh, steel mills are coming up. Good, 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 good. Yeah, because I made motor industries as well and stuff. Sure, sure, sure. Makes sense. I still want a view, Fluffy. I hope you agree with me there. Where I click on a good, let's say, explosives, and I see everyone who produces them and how many, and I see everyone who uses them and how many. In my country, not in the freaking market, because I don't give a shit about the market. Health taxes. With the calls for some of the of a healthcare system, many are questioning where the money are for setting up the new healthcare system will come from. Some are suggesting simple taking it out of a tax fund. Government should find another way to cover the cost. Take it from the tax funds. So we will use all our money to enact this. And the industrials disapprove for some reason, even though they don't have to pay for it, the idiots. And better enactment success. Okay. Oh, and France is doing stuff. Oh, don't care about that. But 20% is good. 30% with even more money. Ridiculous amounts of money. And the... Oh. What? The government should cover the cost. So, we're taking it out of taxes. Or we're paying for that by magic? What do, what, where do you think does government money come from? You can't get by without it. No, I want the 20%. Yeah, industrial, just take it. Take it or leave it, buddy. Probably don't have to build so many units because the cap is based on, all, on your literacy. We still have a lot of uncapped power here. We can double our universities right now. Oh no, we have an uh, innovation cap of 96, but that's fine. We will gain more literacy through them, that's good. At least I think so. It's fine, we need, we need the university sooner or later. And it gives us better spread of uh, qualifications. Uh, sure, I don't need synthetic plants. I'm definitely not gonna pay for fertilizer and sulfur to make dyes. If I can make them straight away, so that's neat. And I can make silk, so I can just ignore this tag completely, thank you. Because I'm China and I make that stuff naturally. Yeah, see, this is a problem. But it's engines, and we're just making engines, and the problem with engines is steel. So, this is perfect. This is exactly what we need at the right time. The problem is, we'll, we'll not have enough iron. Sure. Paper now as well. See, that is the bigger problem, that we don't have enough paper for these universities, I think. Uh, sure, get rid of these clippers. Tea? Oh my god, the Russians love tea. Austria, Morocco. More silk? No, not good enough. Some fish to the Russians, that doesn't even need convoys, which is great. Sulfur to the American market, grain, no Russians? Ah, sadness. We do have a trade agreement, right? Yes, we do. And you're still pissy, you idiots. Doesn't make any sense. How's our infamy going? Ah, it's decaying, it's good. Still needs 10 years, but... I mean, we got Japan because of this, so that's fine. They're still rebellious, of course they are. Election is going 0% of the vote. Ru Would you guess why? Because of the popularity of the dumbass in, in, in charge. It's so bad. It is literally everything in this run is uh, held up by this dumbass not wanting to die. And before that we had a someone who was neutral. And these guys had someone with 140 popularity. 140, can you even imagine? I've never seen someone with so much popularity. He was a god uh, amongst men. For no reason at all. Uh, refusing to hire people. 
the bourgeoisie j can just suck it up. Yeah, it's fine. We still get the extra bureaucracy. And the loan interest rate is not worth it anyway because it's multiplicative and not additive. Which sucks. Let's hope we get the private healthcare system soon because um, we're losing money here. For no reason at all. Pan-nationalism, authority, good. Uh, still not enough, but good enough. I want these now, for sure. We are so far behind this and we should have got gotten these 30 years ago, I think. We're making steel in preparation, that's neat. We probably have to make more because the arms industries will need more. I've got to put the iron mines in. Why would we need the livestock ranches? The livestock ranches. I still want to make them, but... I'm doubting my logic there. They are in there for 20, 30 years in planning. We definitely want this. We definitely want this technology as soon as possible. We could make the Eiffel Tower if we're French. Interesting. Leads to elevators and zeppelins. This is pretty cool. And paved roads. Oh my god. We don't even have to build them. And Zeppelins unlocks, unlocks airship mooring port, uh, post. With prestige. For a skyscraper which we cannot make. Can we? Yeah, constitutional assholes. Can we make that? Maybe we can. Government administration building throughput. So this modifies our government buildings if we make a skyscraper? It's strange. No, this is an alternative thing for our government stuff, isn't it? Isn't it? It looks like it. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Uh, you're still not making any money. That's great. And you're struggling as well. Because you also need explosives. And that's not great. So I have to do this as well. To keep you afloat. Until I make more explosives. No. The skyscraper is an extra thing that we have to build where these things are built. That That is so... If that is true and I cannot just switch a button here. Then I'm quite pissed because then I have to find out where this, this crap is actually. Can we get the trade unionists in? Ooh, it gives us more legitimacy. Sure, we'll do that. Oh god, you sw you joined the party? Oh, no. This is not the best party, guys. I hope these guys will leave. But sure. Whatever, I want the trade unions. Oh, we are one and a half hours in. I don't know why I go over time the, uh, so much this time. Uh, the stream won't end yet, but uh, the part will for YouTube. I'm, of course, recording this for my YouTube channel. If you want to see that uh, channel and you're not on YouTube already, there you go in the stream. Also, for good measure, how about the Discord? There you go. So take a look there. Otherwise, thank you all for watching. Leave me a like. Sub my YouTube if you, uh, if you haven't. It really, really does help. Thank you for all your support. Follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And come to Discord and I'll see you there. Bloop, bloop. And till next time.